Hello everybody, what is up? It is Stan the Man, and welcome back to another Stan the Man podcast. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing really freaking well. It is Thursday, the 9th of July in the goddamn year 2020. I hope this year has been treating you all well, even though it's basically been fucking us all up the ass these days, okay? No Vaseline, no lube, no nothing, right? Now, before I move on explaining where the hell I've been, we are going to get started with some local news. As of writing this podcast, there are now four new active cases here here in Aruba. This comes at an awkward time as the struggling island nation is getting ready to reopen the airport for commercial flights. Now, the airport is actually already open for commercial flights, but we are expecting over 4,000 tourists to arrive tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that's not going to end very well. (laughs) All right. The Netherlands is inquiring to step in in order to oversee the island's finances. Okay, I say fucking let them. Okay, fucking let it. A lot of people would be saying, oh, no, but we're getting rid of our autonomy. No, we're fucking not. Sit down, you dumbass. Plus, if you really think about it, what have we really accomplished since we actually got our autonomy since 1986? But that's another topic for another day, okay? Many people are actually criticizing the government's de- the government's decision to still open the island despite the resurgence of the virus in our main client country, the United States of goddamn America. <laughs> Dude, I... I said I said this before and I'll say it again. I think like ever since ever since losing a Vietnam, the US is just the US just wants to win and everything, including the most virus cases. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that. A lot of people are actually dying. But dude, most of our uh most of the cases are usually just concentrated around the sunshine state. So I'm talking Florida, Texas, and Arizona. If I'm if if I'm incorrect, please let me know. Um and also most of the eastern coast of the United States. Now The main problem with that is a lot of our tourists, they come from the eastern coast of the United States. (laughs) So you get what I'm saying here. We're starting to connect the dots. Now, in international news, the president of Brazil, who is known for downplaying the virus and is widely widely criticized for his response to the virus, has officially been diagnosed with COVID-19. Some good news. There's also not some good news coming in from Europe, as the European Commission warns that the Eurozone economy will sink deeper into recession than previously thought due to the effects of the pandemic. Yeah, of course. Uh, But we'll talk more about like economics and stuff like that later because I don't want to get too much into it but fuck it. China more specifically Inner Mongolia has started taking precautions for the confirmed case of the bubonic fucking plague. Oh man I just fucking hey I'll just I'll just keep saying it right now okay 2020 is the year that keeps on fucking giving. Not only are we seeing like the fucking biggest pandemic that we've seen since a goddamn century we are also seeing the fucking the, the fucking return of the plague like Jesus, first the bat, first the bats cause humanity to stand on edge. Now the bat, now the rats want a little bit of that action. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. Not only that, but for those in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, we are looking at a above average hurric- an above active hurricane season this year, and also those on the Pacific Islands as well. You guys got to be careful. Twenty twenty is a goddamn shit show of a year, but let's just hope it ends well. All right, but I'm gonna be honest. If I see Godzilla rise out of the ocean in fucking August, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be surprised, okay? Now, the reason why it's been like a while, right? I made a bunch of video I made a video, a Call of Duty video in between, yeah. Cause um I wanted to get some guests after the last podcast, okay? I actually I actually got some guests on. I had Lord Dankerton, which is like the meaniest person I know so far, okay? Also Lance. Um Chum Chum, okay, I'll talk more about him in a bit. Gia and also a good friend of mine, Ansel, so a buddy for Ansel, a buddy of mine in high school from high school. Now <laughs> I tried doing a podcast with Chum Chum. You've seen him during the last podcast. Uh, we recorded for nearly two damn hours hours but we kept having issues the whole fucking time like either like either discord would glitch out and the audio would basically just cut or i don't know the, the wi-fi would keep going out fucking the wi-fi kept going out too Satar creando depression like fucking hell Satar fix your shit uh, then then I go back to listen to the actual audio and it just sounds like a bunch of garbled it just sounds like a bunch of garbled noise. So basically I got nearly two hours of audio that's completely useless. So of course 
I, I fuck I fucking lose my temper as I dude as I wrote this all right as I was writing this podcast I was also trying to learn the in and uh, the ins and outs of the in and outs of Discord and open broadcast software just to figure out what the hell went wrong because I used literally the exact same settings as I did uh, with the group podcast I did with GN the other people and that went perfectly fine why the fuck did this why the fuck did this one like go off the fucking rails I really don't know. Uh man. Like, so, of course, I lost my fucking temper, and I just mentioned I'm trying to, like, figure out the, I'm trying to, like, figure out the ins, the in and outs of Discord and OBS, open broadcast software. Um, also, in, 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 uh, in a fucking hell, if I can fucking talk, <laughs> um, in association, is that what he said? No. Um, fuck it. Uh, with the help of Lance, I'm currently um, sourcing some parts for a simple and cheap streaming and editing BC, PC build. All right, nothing too fancy, just something to get start and just something to get started and eventually upgrade in the future. Now, upgrade in, in the future. Right now, one of the main satin, one of the main downsides of uh, working off the iPad is that I really like it. I like it or not, I really like it. I've loved working with the iPad so far. I've had a lot of t- a lot of I had a lot of fun creating on it making music writing scripts in a podcast doing digital art all sorts of cool all sorts of good shit right but like it or not it's just not as versatile as a computer okay sure you can do a lot of stuff and you can do a lot of stuff on this thing for example i really love the workflow of literally editing and recording on the go i can literally take this thing with me and either i have it with either a usb mic or the usb audio interface uh take it with me anywhere and literally just record stuff all right i took it to a buddy's house so we can actually get and do some music together and a bunch of other stuff but but like, I, I'll say this, okay? I'm not. This isn't a but. Uh, like, I I really want. I always wanted like some sort of at home station dedicated, at home dedicated workstation for like bigger projects. But as a laptop replacement, a genuine thing that you can actually use on the go. I'd say I'm gonna say it. I'd say the only Apple product that's worth the price. Is the iPad Pro, like th- this thing wasn't cheap, but it w- it's not that expensive either. Plus the fact that I can uh, the fact that I could just add storage using like uh, an external hard drive or even an external SSD. I got a two ter- I got a two terabyte hard drive on this thing. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, but now back okay. So on the topic, what did me and Chum Chum actually talk about? Right. Well. Me and Chum, we actually had like a talk. We had, we had a long talk about a lot of different things. You know, just shooting the shit. We talked about getting used to the COVID nineteen lifestyle. And we talked about attending the anti pedophile rally. Hang on, give me a second here. Uh, we talked about an- attending the anti pedophile rally. All right. We talked about fucking cancel culture running rampant on Twitter and social media in general. Uh, we talked about exes. Overall, just some dumb shit. But one thing we got a bit deep into is like the cancel culture shit. All right. Right now, what did we act? What did we actually like mean by this as well? Uh, like a lot of people seem way too damn eager to try to play the damn hero, you know? Like they're too fu- they're they are so fucking eager to play the damn hero that if you get about this little fucking thing called context, how some people how some people out there think they're actually making a difference by like sitting and typing behind their fucking screens. Like Jesus Christ, okay. Like instead of like actually going out there and trying to make a difference in the real world, because they're either too chicken shit to get out of their fucking house, or they're too too brain dead to figure out the most simple of tasks. Look, I get it. There are some assholes on the internet. There are some truly horrible people out there on the internet, and they have to be stopped. Okay, we can all agree on that. But some of these fuckers, they take it way too fucking far. Like one example that I can already think of is the. You guys remember the Joji is over, the Joji is over party, right? Apparently, a lot of people heard of Joji, but they never heard of this guy called Filthy Frank. You know the the OG Joji. You know if you don't know if it, you don't know Joji, if you don't know Filthy Frank, I mean come the fuck on like i I don't get it these people these people seem so fucking eager to play the damn hero that they forget about this incy teensy wincy tiny yet all so important detail a little thing called context like fucking hell like all right let me give you an example all right it's like being bullied into a fight let's say some dude fucking hey man dude come help me kick this guy's ass i'm gonna say no 
All right. I like to know both sides of the story before I make a decision. All right. What did the dude do to deserve this ass kicking? All right. Did he do something stupid? If this is if this beef is just between you and him, fucking go settle it yourselves. Leave me out of this. But nobody likes that guy. Nobody likes a neutral person. Nobody likes a dude that stands on the sidelines. All right. Like. Uh, man, like, like, dude, I, I the reason why I'm asking that is I can't unpunch someone. Not, and also, these guys, okay, it's pretty obvious that a lot of these fuckers on the internet, they, internet, they haven't dealt with enough real life or death situations to actually achieve, you know, actually achieve certain awareness as to what is going on around them. Okay, like, <sighs> all right, let me give you an example here. All right, let me, okay, let me. Are you fucking listening? Are you fucking listening out there? Okay, you you guys, you're fucking bean. Okay, I should shut up because I like wearing beanies too. Like the people like tweet constantly, like fucking three to four times a day. Like they, they always go like, I think it's so sad that people are being mistreated in this in this community. You know what I know? You want to know what I think? I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. The reason why you're hopping on this bandwagon is because you want people to like you. All right. You want people to like you because you want to hop on. Everybody else seems to hate this one person. You just want to you just want to go out there and try to seem good in the light of other people. All right, you don't want to look like the asshole. <laughs> you're not doing this because you genuinely want to make a difference. You're just doing this because you want to be liked. That's it. <laughs> so you want to know what I think? I think you're full of shit. Like fucking. Go, all right, go fucking, before you, before you start tweeting or ranting about homelessness, go volunteer at a shelter, okay? Go work at a soup kitchen. Go out there and experience the real world, and then you can talk to me about homelessness. But until that fucking happens, as I said before, continue taking pictures of your fucking iced latte and shut the fuck up, all right? Shut the fuck up, all right? You see it every day in politics. Those who are fr- okay. Now, no, 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 fuck, fuck politics for now, okay? Fuck, fuck all politics, okay? If you haven't risked physical or mental harm for something, I don't think you should be the one to fucking dictate what somebody says or does, okay? Like, oh fuck, my my microphone fucking cut off. Like, like leave that to the people who actually did something meaningful okay who actually who's act who've actually been through some shit and who have seen some shit and who have faced consequences for badly calculated risks okay because they know not to do that shit again all right you see it every goddamn day in politics okay those who are too afraid of taking risks for fear of consequences should not be allowed to make the big fucking decisions let alone run a damn country how often have you seen this? Okay, stop me if you think I'm wrong. How often have you seen a politician do something stupid with no knowledge of it and it ends up blowing up in their faces? Okay? And the worst thing, they don't end up paying they don't end up paying for it, okay? The people end up paying for it. That it's like some fucked up risk transfer kind of thing. Uh my freaking hand. Yeah, but cancel culture, man. Like like, I get it, like, the dude's, like, an asshole, because, like I mentioned before, there are some genuinely horrible people out there on the internet, but what difference are you gonna make? You're just a dude, you're just a dude, you're just a woman, you're a fucking whatever the hell you are behind a goddamn computer. You, you are literally a toy in a big machine, alright? Like, unless you're super fucking famous, nothing's gonna happen. Like, dude, I know this podcast isn't gonna make a difference. I do it because I like doing it. Okay, I like speaking my mind, even though I know it's gonna piss some people off. All right, I've pissed plenty of people off. Okay, let me give you a, let me give you a fucking example, okay? I've been fucking, all right, I've had a knife pulled out on me. I've had machetes pulled out on me. Four times, I can count four times people try to fucking run me over at the national park, okay? One of them actually tried to get out the door and punch me, all right? So, before, I suggest spend some, I suggest, okay, spending less time behind your computer screen, my dude, and actually time out there in the real fucking world. Okay, how about that, sunshine? Oh, man. Okay, now enough about that. Let's get back into 2020, all right? Now, I got some news, okay? If you think, all right, if you think uh, 2020 has been off to a bad start, I got some news. It's only going to get worse before it gets better, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here, but it doesn't take a genius to know that 2020 has been basically one shit show of of the year, all right? 
We started out with a fucking continent bursting into fucking flames, the destabilization between the U.S. and Iran, okay, a virus. Now there might be the fucking bubonic plague, all right? Now, for those in the Caribbean, as I mentioned in the beginning of the podcast, those who are living in the Caribbean, I'm talking mostly in like, I'm talking mostly the lesser and the greater Antilles and also people living in the Gulf of Mexico, the Pacific Islands and stuff like that. We might be looking at a above average hurricane season. So 2020 is the year that keeps on getting Giving. I swear, if I fucking if I fucking see Godzilla rise out of the fucking ocean, I'm not gonna be surprised. I'm not gonna be surprised. Like, yep, here we go again. Here we go again. It fucking comes out like. Ah! <laughs> That's not what fucking Godzilla sounds like. Stupid. Oh man, but look now we might be. <sighs> Like I'm not, I'm not gonna be surprised when that things, but I, I really still think that some people might be making too big of a deal out of something that doesn't really affect affects them as much. Okay, the reason why I'm not making a deal about it is because I know I got, all right, I got a salary coming in. Okay, I'm able to pay my bill. I'm able to pay my bills. Okay, and I'm in, extremely fortunate for that. But there are some people out there who literally do not have anything left. They have literally lost everything due to this pandemic. All right. Um, okay. Like uh, one thing that might be happening afterwards is like Matt. It's actually kind of happening in the United States right now. Uh, they're like mass evictions going on. Mass evictions going on right now. Uh, even though there are moratorium in fucking place, even though there are moratoriums in place, like in, in place to like soften the blow a little bit. I remember like. I, I think I remember the governor. Yeah, the governor of California actually signed an executive an executive order back in May, uh, back in May, all right, banning the enforcement of in, of evictions. All right, what do I mean by this? Okay, you can actually be evicted, but the landlords cannot be cannot force you out of your home. Cannot actually. Um, how do you say, like, kick you out just yet, right? But that doesn't stop them from being from making your life a living hell. I mean, one article I read on the BBC was basically, yeah, it was, yeah, it was about this woman, it was about this woman in Missouri, right? <clears throat> now, this fucking lady, oh man, uh, poor, b- bless her fucking soul, man, now, she lives in this apartment in Missouri, right, and, like, one day she came home, and she came home to find an eviction notice, big fucking surprise, okay, but due to the moratoriums in place in the state, is it in Kansas, Missouri, I don't know. Now, due to the moratoriums in place there, the landlord can't immediately kick her out, but the landlord has been fucking making her life miserable, a literal living hell. They barge into her fucking, they barge into her fucking apartment unannounced constantly, okay? They cut her electricity multiple times. Um, now they fucking removed the security bars on her doors. Now, then you got, ah, man. That type of stuff, like that type of stuff, that makes my blood boil. I can't imagine that happening. Like the people I know, or people I care about here. And meanwhile, you got people, you got fucking people out here fucking posting on Facebook. I miss clubs from an iPhone in a perfectly air conditioned house with Wi-Fi. Um, that type of shit literally makes my fucking blood boil. Another thing that I've been seeing is that people keep complaining, like this especially here on Aruba, right? Like people keep complaining about not having enough money to fucking pay the bills or get food and stuff like that, yet you see them on Snapchat, you see them on Facebook, they got plenty of fucking cash for a cooler full of drinks and getting drunk on the beach. I'm sorry to break it to you there, sunshine. You're not broke, you're just irresponsible and stupid. Those are the type of people that fucking, you go to their fucking Facebook page and it's always like, you go to their fucking Facebook profile or the Twitter or whatever the fuck they, whatever, whatever the fuck they use, and it's always like full of inspirational quotes. I've seen it, I've seen a colleague go, I've seen a colleague like go to his phone and fucking google inspirational quotes to put on facebook all right you want to hear a fucking quote you want to hear a goddamn quote right now okay empty cans make the most noise what do i mean by this okay okay stop me if you think that i'm wrong okay mostly the guy who uh, it's the guy who posts his fucking muhammad ali or fucking mahatma gandhi posts can post he's the one that usually asks you for change constantly asks you for a ride home comes up with excuses look you're packaging yourself. Not, Joe Rogan, actually, Joe Rogan had a really in-depth podcast about this, okay? You are packaging yourself in order, you are packaging and presenting yourself as a person who actually knows what the fuck they're doing, while in reality, your life is a goddamn mess, okay? Empty cans make the most amount of noise, huh? Remember that. 
Like, fucking hell. I don't get it. Like, And these are the same people that are going to grow up. These people, they are going to have kids. And they are going to raise their kids the same goddamn way. And we're going to have fucking more miniature versions of these assholes running around. Like, god fucking damn it, man. Like... You you got enough money. You got enough money to put a turbo. Tur- you got enough money to put a fucking turbo in your fucking Supra, brand new fucking fuel injection. But you're telling me that you can't fucking pay the mandatory insurance fee. Are you fucking for real? Like fuck it, oh, man. Then you'll go on as a hustlers for life. You're not fucking hustling, dumbass. You're literally fucking wasting our tax money. You're wasting our tax money. Those are the same fucking. You, you go to. You go to fuck. You go to the government offices, okay? The cars that usually pull up for welfares is usually like a fucking Alteza. Is usually like Mitsubishi Alt- drifting cars, all right? Fucking nice cars, souped up and stuff like that. The guy who usually comes out, he's wearing like a psych, like a fucking sideways Yankee cap, fucking chains and stuff like that. Doesn't know how to fucking wear a belt. Apparently, I know I sound like a fucking dad. I know I sound like a fucking old white guy right now, but it's true. Look, whatever you're into, you're into, but if you don't get, you should flex only when you get your priorities straight, okay? I'm not going to dictate how you should spend your money or how you should live your life and stuff like that. But people need to fucking realize that we are going to have to shovel money to actually provide for these people, okay? Especially right now with technology advancing, more and more jobs are getting more and more advanced, okay? acquiring different educations and stuff like that. We are slowly going to witness a rise, okay? We saw the upper class. We got the middle class. We got the lower class, all right? And eventually we're going to see a fucking another class of people called the useless class and i i'm gonna be honest we have a bunch of them here <laughs> we got a fucking bunch of the useless class here in aruba uh man but who who am i to fucking judge yeah who am i to fucking stop them from doing what they want i'm no politician all right i'm just a guy trying to get by just as anybody else out there okay i go to work I fucking wake up in the morning, I go to work, I go to bed, sometimes I go to work at night. Sure, you'll hear me bitch and complain about it sometimes, but at the end of the day, someone has to do it, and I still love my job. I take pride in doing the shit that I do and coming back home, and coming back home. Like, it's okay to splurge on yourself every now and then, but make sure you have the essentials, all right? I paid my bills, I didn't, I paid my bills, I bought my food, I did everything, okay? And <laughs> uh, and this is possibly going to leave by be my one irrational financial choice of the year. I bought this fucking RGB light. I bought this fucking RGB light and I got it hanging from my fucking uh, from my fucking work desk right now and it looks fucking awesome. No fucking regrets even though it's 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 going to give me like fuck and uh, like like some kind of epileptic seizure. I think I'm already getting like a seizure right now cuz apparently I can't fucking speak. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. All right, it's been a bit. It's a little bit of a short one until I actually figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do next. Okay, but in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys stay safe out there. This is Stan the Man signing off. That's the wrong fucking thing. God damn it. <laughs>